Hello, hello, friends. We are at the last of the key training thrifts, at least for this time. We are now in Homosassa. It is 50% off everything. And hopefully we have as good a luck as we just had at the last two key trainings. I'm excited to go in and see what we can find. All right, so this is my normal key training, but I've added the Inverness and Lacanto stores in. This is the one in Homosassa. So you probably have seen me at this one quite a bit. I'm looking at this cool retro trailer here. Check that out. That's like classic 80s, I feel like. Everybody had that, right? <laughs> All right. Nothing more to see here. Let's go inside. And we shall find us a buggy. Now, these boots really caught my eye. They are dirty, but of course that could easily be cleaned. But I don't think they were worth very much and I'm starting in the boutique section this is all jackets look at this amazing LL Bean it is a I believe it's a youth size XL but really really nice vest so these are all six dollars the jackets are so we're gonna see what we can find in here These are bathing suits. <laughs> it's a Nike bathing suit. It looked like it was underwear. It was not underwear. It was bathing suit. But it did not have a tag. So I left it. And I've been trying to look at dresses. Trying to expand my knowledge a little on the women's clothing. Look at this Columbia jacket. Another, again, we are in the jacket section which all of their jackets are boutique and now they just put these out look at this eyes on they just put out all of these nightgowns i will tell you elena took the best one she took it from me not from me she just grabbed it before me she got the anthony richards which sells very very well however there are still some good ones this one is Beverly West. It is a vintage house coat. Helena's like, you can take them all except for the Anthony Richards. This one is a vintage Blair house coat. I had to give her a hard time. She's looking to see because she just sold one last week and I sold one a couple weeks ago. Of Anthony Richards look she's showing me look I sold one too <laughs> I was just giving her a hard time but it's nice to get there right when they put stuff out because then you got first pick kind of you get first pick of one half and your friend gets first pick of the other half let's see if we can find any more This is a vintage Vanity Fair. Little bit of damage, but I think that one will still sell. Look at all of these. Perfect timing. They just put them all out. That's a shadow line. I have done excellent with shadow line. Very, very happy with what we are finding. Now, we had good luck with hard goods at the other two key training. However, at this one, I typically do not have great luck with hard goods. I will say this is the one that I typically have good luck with the clothes. Look at this. They're amazing. Ellen is back. She's looking in my buggy. Look at this. Amazing robe. I told her, I'm like, feel this thing. It's like super high quality. Look, we love it. It is great all of the robes now that we have taken like half of what they what they just put out we we are going to move along i glance at the shoes i'm not a big shoe seller these are like little half boot things i i don't know i am like a flip-flop and croc person 
So my sense of style and shoes is very negligible, I will tell you that. And I also do not carry a purse, but I'm pretty good at finding some good purses, even though I don't carry one. And I have found some good purses in this store before. I'm trying to see if we see anything. Look at this. Property of the Orlando Magic. This is a super cute little sweatshirt bag. It's like a cinch sack. And the purses are half off. The clothes are not, but the purses are half off. So I definitely am going to get that one. This one was cute, but when I felt it, it felt very cheaply made. And so that's why I just let that one go back. Purses can be just like clothing. You can really feel quality with a lot of pieces. Look at this. This is really cool. Look, it like changes from red to green and red to green. And the bottom is in an immaculate condition. I cannot speak. It has been a long day. I hope everybody's having a good weekend, by the way. If you hung out with us in our whatnot show earlier, I appreciate you. This is their little wallet tub, and here's some more shoes. I sometimes get lucky and find shoes, but I really don't have much of an idea of what I'm looking for. Some more purses. This one looked like a sack. And I've done very well with sack and multi-sack purses, but it is a different name that I was not familiar with, so I decided to leave that one. What is this? What are these things? Does anybody... I, I don't know. I didn't see a name on those. They were very colorful, though. They have a lot of shoes. I was trying to see if there's a brand on these boots, but I did not see one. All right. I think that we are good in this section. This is a nice leather purse, but there was no name. Back to the jackets. Look at this, a ping fleece jacket. We are definitely getting lucky in the jackets and nightgown section today. It definitely varies. You really never know what you're gonna come upon on any given day at a thrift store. One day it will be one thing and the next day somebody just donated a collection of bears, right? There's an, another Columbia. Somebody had a vest collection. Here's another Columbia. It's all of the Columbias. And I do well with Columbia, so I'm happy with these. This one's a Pierre Cardin. That one was an XXL. Here's a Nike Golf Polo. Cross Creek. I think we'll get that one, because at the dollar price point, even though it's personalized, I think that that Nike golf polo will still sell. And here's a Tybee Island shirt. That is where Brad and I got married. And I do well with little destination shirts. This one's an Izod polo. We will take it for a dollar. Draw a ton. I don't know why I left that one. I think because it only had graphics on one side. Here's another Columbia. That one is a nice one, too. I have a very large stack. Look at this. This is Izod Mercerized Cotton. Very nice little, I think that's called Fair Isle sweater vest. Today is like the sweater vest day. I didn't get that Ashworth vest. Um, that's one I was kind of on the fence about. Keep calm and monkey on. Monkey on, my friends. Let's see what else we can find. Look 
lots of fishing shirts in here today too. And you can see I'm just glancing. So I'm I'm not necessarily touching every shirt to look through them. Fish naked. Show off your fly rod. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I think this shirt might sell. I'm going to pick that one up. Father's Day is coming up. That would be a good Father's Day gift, I feel like. Let's see. Some of my best finds have been in the black t-shirt. So that is one section I do look through every single shirt. You see I didn't on the other colors. All right, not today. Look, I found an apple peeler. I'm testing the apple peeler. I actually looked this one up. It's not worth much. Can we find more jackets? We can always find more jackets. And it's another Columbia. These were just little like cheap windbreakers. I don't think those were worth very much. Tommy Hilfiger shorts. All right, let's see if we can find some hard goods. This one has the month and all of the years. I was I was on the fence about this one. I almost got it, but I decided not to. Let me know if I should have. We missed some of the shirts. Oh, Metropolitan, made in Italy. That's why I got it. For a dollar, I will I will take a chance on quite a bit. When you've got low investment, sometimes it can be worth trying it out. And I did not intend on piling up the clothes here, but. At this location, that seems to be what I do. My buggy looks like this every time I go to the store. It's very hard with the dollar cost not to get a lot. Soup of the day is tequila. Did you see that? They have had a lot of funny shirts in here today. Look at this owl. I really love this, but look at the scratch on top. Man, if it didn't have that scratch, I would get this. It would be a pain in the butt to ship. It also didn't have a price. Um, but that scratch, the background was kind of like a marbling, so I'm not sure that it could easily be touched up. So I decided to leave the owl there. That one I think probably worth about 10. Now I will tell you this is a Culver glass, but look at all the gold that's shipped off. So I'm really debating on this because I know this glass will sell. I've actually sold this exact one, but there's just so much damage to that gold. I'm going to leave it. Cute little turtle. I had to show you the little turtle. All right, let's see if we can find anything in the Christmas. So this one is the Fraser collection. Some of their pieces do well, but this one actually had quite a bit of pilling on it. So I decided to put it back. And I always check the pet supplies. You might be surprised some pet items can be valuable. I actually got a pet water fountain here that sold for over 60. Look at all the cracks. This is a great piece, but man, that one had sustained a lot of damage to where it would be scary to ship it. So we are not going to get that one. They actually have some jewelry at this one. 
I was surprised. So I think most of this under here is sterling. And then they've got that bag there. And I asked her, and unfortunately, the jewelry in the case is not 50% off. There's jewelry on a stand right to the right that is 50% off. But if it's in this case, it is not. So I think we'll look at a few pieces. The prices are not bad, especially if you are purchasing for yourself. There's some at $10 and $15 in there. But for me with reselling, I think that is just a little too much. So now I'm showing her which ones we want to take a look at. So this one I don't think is sterling. They have it at 15. It's a beautiful tiger's eye. But I think that one, if it's not sterling, is definitely too high. And then here, let's see. There's a little owl. And this one I'm checking to see. And I know the GoPro doesn't focus in close on these, so I do apologize for that. So that was another one that was not sterling. And I think they had it priced at 15 or 20 and there's one other I want to take a look at real quick. This is a beautiful Native American piece. And it actually still has the tag on it from the Native American artist. And this one is on a sterling chain. So the price it was originally was $35. And they had it at $15. So really not bad. But again, most of my sterling jewelry I sell on Whatnot, and I start it between $10 and $20. So this one, I'm not sure if I would have enough room, even though I really, really love that piece. And I could start it a little bit higher, but I'm not, I'm not sure that it would bring that much Look, she drops things like me. She was trying to show me some different ones, but, and if they were 50% off, I probably would have bought all of those pieces that I pulled out. Unfortunately, they weren't. This is a really cool leaf cuff bracelet. And this stuff is all 50% off. See, there I go dropping things. We have a giant, giant pile here. Let's see if we see anything over here. That's one of the only $2.50. Really, really neat. And you can see where I wear my camera there and the mirror as well. Little glass like note holder but I don't I don't know how many people really use those anymore all right now we are at the placemats those unfortunately had some stains I think those would have sold and we do very well with placemats however they had the stains and then these it looks like there's only three and I really like to find I either do sets of two or four, and I know I could have left one there, but I hate to separate a set because somebody might need three, and I don't want to. I don't want to take three. They have like a health scale there, and their supply of towels is really low. Normally these towels are stacked up like three feet high, but today they're not. Look at this though, a Gatorade vintage towel. This one I think will sell well. I think the towels are $2 and they are half off. Look, we found Elena again. So I, I do want to point out, even though the other two stores had no buggies, this one does, but that's because we're at the store later in the day. So most of the people that came for the rush of the 50% off have already left. And I think we're about done. We have found some really great stuff. And I think we're going to go ahead, head, and check out. And I will see you in just a second. All right. I filled the cart as usual at this one. This is the one I've come to the most. 
not bad i spent 55 bucks which is really really good so let's take a look again at everything i got all right so with this one we really didn't use a lot of the 50 percent off i got a lot of clothes which are a dollar except for their boutique nike golf you can see this one is tybee island here what is this metropolitan i got this because it said made in italy i did get a lot of columbia there was tons of columbia these were all on the boutique so they were six as well as this ping fleece i got polo uh really nice mercerized cotton izod sweater which now that i have the light on it i see stains so this one might not get listed but it was only a dollar look at all the stains we'll try and wash that um fish naked i thought that one was cute some vintage nightgowns elena grabbed the best one which was an anthony richards so she she beat me to that there is a vanity fair vintage this one is della della burke that one's a nice one ll bean here is another columbia somebody donated a lot of columbia the little property of Orlando Magic, this little sweatshirt bag. I did get the Cabana linen candle for me. That was half off, so that was only $1.37. And then this is a really, really nice robe. This one is Boca Terry. And I think most of the robes are all one size. There is a Blair vintage robe, Nautica sleepwear and then this one is beverly west a vintage house coat and an izod waffle robe so mostly clothes here at the last two we have found more of the items versus clothing however not at this one also i got this purse look at how do you see the color change really really pretty if you are interested in anything shoot me an email the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.